Taking the risks, a rare and significant move after news that dozens of residents at a local nursing home tested positive for COVID-19. Atia Collins has details on all this for us now. People who have tested positive for COVID-19 that are living in the Hornell Gardens Nursing Home in Steuben County will be allowed to stay there, while those who are healthy will be moved to another facility. This all in response to an outbreak of COVID-19 that has moved through the nursing home. 46 people tested positive for COVID-19 as part of the facility-wide COVID-19 testing. That was completed at Hornell Gardens last Friday. The New York State Department of Health has approved the response plan to the outbreak. This includes transferring residents who have tested negative for COVID-19 to another facility, Seneca Nursing and Rehabilitation in Waterloo. Officials from Steuben County and the State Department of Health will coordinate this plan. And while county officials are working to find the source of the outbreak, they say it's frustrating as the virus changes day by day. But through the contract, uh, contact tracing, um, there hasn't been identified any, any single or multiple uh, sources. But it's certainly community spread. I mean, you know, it's not all travel related or anything like that. As part of that joint response, the Rochester-based company Hurlbut Care Communities released this statement saying, We are implementing this plan in close collaboration with officials from Steuben County and the New York State Department of Health. I would also like to express my gratitude to all of our staff who have worked tirelessly to help make this happen. Reporting Atia Collins, News 8. Atia, thank you. Just today, two deaths reported in Steuben County by the health department there. One individual was a 71-year-old male who died in a nursing home in the Hornell area. There are 160 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the county.